eventually. Oh, Sylvia, and kind of just show you how to program it. You know, just hit the surface a little bit on it. Uh, what a PID, let me tell you a little bit what a PID is good for. On these single boiler machines, you can have a range of the boiler being like 185 up to, to about 211. Obviously, you want your coffee to be brewed at between 195 and 204. And why that big range? There's a thermostat on the boiler in there that re detects when the boiler is cooling down and getting too cold. It kicks in and says, come on, heat on up. And then there's a te another thermostat that when you get to that top point kicks out. Like, it can be quite a range. So it's guesswork whether you're at 185 or if you're at 200 or whatever, you don't really know. What this does is controls the boiler to within one degree of what you ask it. And you can change the degrees on this. It also does pre-infusion, uh, programmed pre-infusion, wait time, and then brew time. So it controls your shot from beginning to end, temperature, and then the uh, pre-infusion, wait, and then the brew time. So let's get into it, and I'll show you how to change the settings on it. So you get into set, and then you run this over to the last number on the right, take it up to one. Now you're into the settings to where you can change things. This is going to be able to let you change the temperature. You get into that one. I can go over and I can change it to, let's say, 201. Set. We're good there. That's, uh, let's go the other way. These are temperature changes that you can make for the steam side. We don't recommend getting into that too much. Okay, this is the pre-infusion time. I can go over here. We have it at six seconds. We don't want that. We're going to take it down to 3.6 seconds. All right. The, this is the delay time. This is the wait time in between. Yeah, that's not too bad. Yeah, I'll take it up to three seconds. All right. Got that. And then this is the brew time. We got that at 25 seconds. That's about right. You, ch you time your double shot 20 to 30 seconds. You time that from the time of the beginning of the pre-infusion to the end of the shot. OK, and now we're going to get into end. That gets you out of the program mode. Now we're back to just use it. So I'm going to just put a cup under here. We don't have any coffee in here, but it's going to go through all those settings we just did and brew. There goes your pre-infusion. Wait time, and now brew time. And since I'm going to watch this and make sure it doesn't overflow the cup, it will automatically shut itself off typically. But since we don't have any coffee in there, we might have a meltdown. Eh, we're going to be pretty good. See, it's counting down. We're almost done. So there you go. That's what a PID is all about. And it's a pretty good feature on a single boiler machine because it controls things. Your shots are going to taste better because you're gonna, your temperature is going to be controlled to within one degree of whatever you ask it. And of course, different coffees like different temperatures, and that's why it allows you to play with that in different ways. You'll find these on other, th these controllers are used for other applications as well. They're not just made for espresso machines, but that's where we use it and we install it. Check it out on our webpage. Uh, we probably are one of the only companies out there that offer it on the Sylvia, which was already a great machine, just makes it a little bit better. Um, check it out. Put some comments on the link below, on the, on the section, right down below here, right down there, right down there. Put some uh, comments about what you think and what your experience has been with your PID. And uh, also, sign up for our YouTube channel. You'll get all kinds of informative videos, just like this one, that'll help you out so you get a better shot of coffee, espresso, drip, whatever it is you're doing. Thanks for watching.